When you want to define a parabola whose vertex is not the origin, we will call the vertex hk. So starting off with our parabola that opens right, you can see I haven't drawn my picture here on a set of axes because of hk is an arbitrary vertex. h is the x-coordinate, k is the y-coordinate. The distance from the vertex to the focus is still a, and the distance from the vertex to the directrix is also still equivalent. So that makes our focus become the point, remember this is h is your x coordinate here, so our focus becomes a units further than h, so h plus a, and then the directrix is a units behind h, so h minus a becomes the directrix equation. And then we want to go ahead and use our knowledge of shifts, so to shift the x coordinate we'll say minus h, and to shift the y coordinate we have minus k there. So now our equation is y minus k squared is equal to 4a times x minus h. Now if we flip the orientation of the parabola so that it opens left, again our vertex here is the point hk, and if we take a units away from h we get the focus, and if we add a units away uh, from h we get the directrix. The equation is almost the same as above, but now we have the negative sign in front of the 4. The parabola that opens up, again with vertex hk here, if we add a units to this y coordinate, we will get the y coordinate of the focus. And if we take a units away from this y coordinate, we'll get the equation of the directrix. So now we notice that our x coordinate stays the same, it just stays h. Like up here, it just stayed k, right? But it's the k coordinate that we are moving by a units. The equation of the directrix is the horizontal line y equals k minus a, and the equation of the parabola that opens up but has vertex at hk is going to be x minus h squared is equal to 4a times y minus k. And then similarly we can define the parabola that opens downward again with vertex hk. Our focus is going to be a units below k, and our directrix is going to be a units above k. So our focus is h comma k minus a, and our directrix is y equals k plus a. And the equation of this parabola is x minus h squared is equal to negative 4a y minus k. So these four equations um, are good to familiarize yourself with. I don't think it's necessarily worth memorizing the focus and the directrix for each of these. Um, you'll always be able to reference this, but if we can think about it more from a, a logistical standpoint, just knowing which way these parabolas open and then where the directrix and where the focus should be located in terms of then, we can really think about the x and the y coordinate um, and how they shift based on this a value to give us either the focus or the directrix. So let's go ahead and practice using some of those formats. Let's go ahead and find the equation of a parabola with vertex 2, negative 3 and focus 2, negative 5. So again, I always like to start by plotting this information. Um, so I have my vertex here at 2, negative 3. Again, this is a little off right now. And then my focus at 2, negative 5. So 2 units in the x direction, negative 5 units in the y direction. And so the form, this parabola opens down, and so that format for the equation is that x minus h squared is equal to negative 4a times y minus k. So what we do know is we do know h and k because the vertex is 2, negative 3. So we have that information that we can go ahead and plug directly into this formula. And when we do that, we'll be left with just our unknown a value, this distance right here that we want to find. Well, the picture tells us actually what that a value is. It's two units. Because we knew that the vertex was at negative 3 and the focus was at negative 5, so those are two units apart. So if a is 2 and we can plug that directly into there, we end up simplifying the equation to get x minus 2 squared is equal to negative 8 times y plus 3. So if the length of the lattice rectum is 4a units and a is 2, then this distance actually right here it should be 8 units. erase that picture and draw a better one here. Now we have our eight units span for the lattice rectum. We have a much more accurate looking parabola here based on this equation.
So it would be possible for you to go ahead and FOIL this expression out and distribute this 8, basically expanding this equation into a different format. It's no longer this sort of general format here. It's a more in an expanded version. So if I add 8y to the left and add 24, I end up with x squared minus 4x plus 8y plus 28 equals 0. Um, and so we have our standard form, which is how I presented the equation, and then we have that general form. Let's go ahead and look at an example where you were given the shape in this general form here, and we want to go ahead and put it back in our standard form so that we can see where the vertex is um, and where the focus is located in relationship to that vertex. So what we're going to do here is first realize that the y is the variable that's squared, and so that gives us a hint as to what this should look like. It should look like this one, right? And so we're going to complete the square for the variable y. So I moved the 4x and the 4 over to the other side. I've taken half of negative 4, squared it, which is 4, and I've added that 4 to both sides. Now we have a perfect square trinomial that factors into y minus 2 squared, and if I clean up the right-hand side, I get negative 4x. So if I try and put it into this form, I would have negative 4 times 1 times x minus 0. So that tells me that the vertex, this is h and this is k, so the vertex is 0, 2. And uh, my a value here is 1. So to find the focus, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 1 from a, and, or sub subtract 1, that a value from h, so 0 minus 1. And then my k value stays the same, which is 2. So my, vert my focus is negative 1, 2, and then I can also go ahead and calculate my directrix using the formula. So again, h is 0 plus the 1 for a tells me the directrix is the line x equals 1, right? So this parabola, it opens left because of the negative in the front here um, and because of the y is squared, right? If x is squared, it opens up or down, but if y is squared, it opens right or left. And so if I draw my directrix and I, I have my vertex here at 0, 2, and then my focus is at negative 1, 2, um, I, I've analyzed the parabola. Uh, just in case you don't believe me, let's go ahead and look at Desmos here. Uh, if I type in the original format that the parabola was given to me in, so the, the general form here, y squared minus 4y plus 4x plus 4 equals 0, You can see I have a parabola opening left with a vertex at 0, 2. Now if I type in my standard form, my hk form, I'll type in the y minus 2 squared is equal to just negative 4x. And you can see that that blue parabola lays right on top of the red parabola. So if I turn them off, I can turn that one on, I can turn the red one on, and you can see that they're the exact same shape. This page of notes is just really handy for you to have as you go through these practice problems. I've only done a handful of problems with you in these videos, and it's going to take a lot more practice. But having this ready to look at will help keep you organized as you go through these parabola problems.